Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. While I have this set up, I wanted to show you real quickly my updated setup for testing ARP filter submodules. And we'll hook a couple different ARP filters up and see and hear how the test setup works. So ARP synthesizer filters are on these little submodules, and they're soldered into place on the synthesizer boards via these pins. Uh, face down. So they're not very accessible for troubleshooting and they're not very easy to test outside of a synthesizer. I think I showed in a previous video how I was testing these outside of a synth, but the setup I was using at the time was a confusing jumble of alligator clip cables. When I restore a dead synth, I take the filters out and I recap them and take all the tantalum capacitors out. Uh, so it can save a lot of time if I'm able to test to know if the filter is working before I solder it back into place and test the synthesizer. I also make my own replacement filter submodules and use the test bed for testing them. So I've got things laid out a lot better now so I can set up quicker and actually get an oscilloscope probe onto the filter that I'm testing to troubleshoot it if I've got a bad one. So this is the basic setup. I've got a dual output power supply to provide the positive and negative power rails that the filter needs to run. I've got a function generator to serve as the oscillator that's going into the voltage controlled filter. I can feed the filter a variety of different waveforms, shapes, frequencies, and duty cycles, and I can have it sweep frequencies too. Next I've got an oscilloscope to view the output waveform from the voltage controlled filter. I usually test these just by looking at the resulting waveforms, but in a minute I'm actually going to uh, grab the output and send it into my amplifier so we can all hear what's coming out of these filters. Next I have a little circuit board which I made that interfaces all this test equipment to the filter. There's a couple places for some BNC jacks so I can just connect the scope and the function generator with coax cables when I get the right size BNC jacks. Uh, I made a little wiring harness here uh, to connect the board to the power supply. And then I made two different wire harnesses to connect the board to the filters. Uh, this one that I've got installed here uses these little mini grabbers to grab onto the long pins of the original ARP modules. The other one is a uh, straight cable which can connect to my replacement filter module. I laid my filter module out so they both can have the long pins in the original places to fit an ARP synthesizer, but it also has a regular header so I can test them easily and so they can be adapted for other uses like in modular synth modules. The test circuit board has a few other components required for the filter to work and it also has two small pots here which function the same as the frequency and the resonance pots on an ARP synthesizer. And uh, by the way, I've got this hooked up right now to a 4075 filter, which is found in all later ARP synths like the ARP Omni 1, ARP Omni 2, Quadra, Avatar, Late Model Odyssey, Late Model Pro DGX, and so on. So I've got a 50 hertz square wave dialed in on the function generator, and I've got the power turned on. On my little test board, I have the frequency pot turned all the way up, so the filter's all the way open and the resonance is turned all the way down and we're looking at the output here on the scope and it's a 50 hertz square wave which is what we'd expect. So now I can start turning the uh, cutoff frequency down and we can start seeing the harmonics get stripped away from this square wave all the way down to a sine wave and uh, we can add some resonance in see the effect of, of that with different cutoff frequencies. We can crank resonance all the way up to where the filter is self oscillating and now the uh, frequency pot is actually controlling the uh, frequency of this self oscillating filter. So now let's connect this to the amplifier so we can actually listen to this filter and watch it on the scope with a few different input waveforms.
Let's switch now to my 4034 and 4035 filter clone. This is the Moog style ladder filter that's found in R Pro Soloists, uh, early R Pro DGXs, and some ARP Odysseys. Sometime, just for fun, we should stick one of these filters into a synth that uses the 4075 filter, like an ARP Omni or something, and see what it can do. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this look at my filter test setup and listen to some of the different ARP filters. This has been Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.